What's happening people? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today is a special day. I am busy driving out to the fishing spot. Um, I've now finally found out that you are allowed to go fishing. So I packed up my rods and reels, got everything set up yesterday, and just decided I'm gonna hit up uh, GNU Valley and I'm gonna see if I can't catch some bass. It's been way too long, so let's see if I can't pick up on some and um, I hope that I have a good day out on the water. Well guys, I've made it to New Valley. It is open and I'm driving through now. I cannot wait. It looks really cold outside and uh, looking good. Down, I'm gonna pay for my entrance and then I'll see you guys on the water. You guys, I've just made it now down to the water. The water looks crispy, looks cold. I don't know what the what the temperature is. Uh, I don't know. I'll check now. But that looks good. Um, it's really cold. I actually, I still don't know what the temperature is. Let me just get my phone. This is taking forever. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna uh, head out the water. I'm gonna be throwing a chatterbait first. Um, I know it's a little bit cold for that, but uh, it's, a, it's a moving bait and I know that uh, this dam has a lot of grass. So I'm just gonna be running it uh, over, the, over the grass and see if I can't just pick up on a, um, on a, on a reaction uh, strike. I'm gonna do one loop and if I don't catch anything, I'll, I'll swap over, but I'll check you guys now. So as I said, throwing this chatterbait, the water here is super clear. So let's just see, wow, that feels good. Hey, first cast, nothing. Ach, it'll warm up. I give it, uh, I give it a couple of hours and then it'll be nice and warm. I think uh, fish are a little bit of sleep. Oh, I got one. I actually got one. Oh, yeah. On the chatter bait, baby. Oh, and it's a decent fish. First fish, guys. First fish of the year for me. On a chatterbug. Jeez, like it. Oh yeah, guys. Ah oh, yeah, decent fish. Decent first fish, guys. On that chatter bait. Cool. That's basically what I caught it on, chatterbait, and I got this uh, um, McCarthy uh, seed sea tail worm. Yeah, man, they a little bit colder, but cool, man. I'm so excited, first fish for the year for me, and um, it's not a bad guy. Let me take a quick selfie here. Sweet, let's get that release. So the first fish came on the spinner bug, all I was doing was just uh, slow rolling it, eh? Um, it's pretty cool catching uh, my first fish. It's uh, starting to warm up now. The sun, sun is coming out nicely, as you guys can see. That sun feels great on the face. So I'm gonna carry on throwing throwing that chatter bait. Um, I've only thrown it on the one side. That's out there. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can't throw this side. Um, so yeah, stay tuned.
Okay, Chatterbait's gone quiet. Um, gone quiet, I think it was always quiet. I think I just got lucky with that first bite. Um, I'm gonna throw a, a weightless sinker and see if that can't can produce some, some fish. Throwing this lunker log now. Um, let's see if it's better than that sinker. All I'm doing is, this is a 3-0, 3 out wide gap hook. I'm rigging it Texas straight. Just like that. Yo, gotta get used to casting a light lure again. Oh man. Oh, it's warming up nicely now. I just saw it's six degrees. So it's probably a little bit warm now. It's still six degrees. Huh. I'd have expected me to just pick up on this. Like first bite. <laughs> Come on, how do you resist a stick bait? Okay, so the lunker log didn't work. I uh, didn't get one single bite on the bite in this bottom dam and the top dam. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to what I know. I'm gonna throw a little wacky, wacky hook with a little bit of a, it's a little weighted wacky hook. And I'm gonna be throwing that with a um, trick worm. Uh, I'm not going to use the lunker log. Uh, reason for that is I don't have that many and um, I don't want to waste them. So I might just uh, use that uh, that trick worm. It's a little bit more subtle, a little bit thinner, so it might work a little bit better. Or I'll use just a normal Senko uh, by Gary Yamamoto, watermelon red color. That usually crushes the fish. So. I usually catch quite a few fish on this bait. Or this setup usually catches me quite a few fish. But yeah, it's winter time, it's cold. Hey! <sighs> Come on, fishies. Where are you? Well, good thing is that my hands have warmed up and my feet have warmed up now. I'm not so cold anymore. Look at this there, I can see it. Come on, take it. got it. Oh. You. Mm. Oh, let's try that again. I think he actually had that. I was just too slow. Come on fish. He'll come back for it? I don't know. Don't think so. Damn it, I missed that bite. Ooh. See that wacky that wacky rig uh, works well for me. Man. Okay, so that wacky rig that I always throw with a little bit of a weighted hook, that didn't work at all. I'm gonna uh, switch over to a Texas rig. I'm gonna see if I can't crawl crawl the bait along, along the bottom. I'm, I'm gonna be using that Bandito bug just to see uh, how it performs and how it does. They catch fish, uh, uh, so I, I'm maybe I'm lucky. Maybe I get lucky on this bait. 
maybe um, this is the key for today. So, okay, I'm breaking out that bandita bug. Never throw this bandita bug before. Uh, maybe this is the, the key to keep cat to catch fish today. Looks good. I'm throwing this uh, on a small Texas rig with the EWG hook. Uh, see, it's that natural, it's the June bug at the bottom and it's got that little bit of green at the bottom. So I'm gonna rig it that the green is to the top. Oh yeah, this looks like a, look at that. There's a fish here, it's like cruising around here, but it's just not taking the bait. So yeah, like I said, maybe that bandito bug is the, is the key to this, uh, to the success for today. Oh, look at that. It's, there you are. That looks amazing. It's going through the cover so nicely. I wonder if I shouldn't just try a weightless fluke as well. Okay, so I haven't been filming for quite a while. I've just done like a couple of loops of the of the of the dams. Um, just a quick shout out to, uh, to one of my subs, Thomas. I didn't get your get your surname, but nice meeting you. It's pretty cool seeing uh, uh, youngsters like like that kind of going going out and fishing, and also me meeting them. It's it's very new for me to, I wouldn't say be famous, but. Uh, People recognize me and that's a cool thing. So yeah, Thomas, a uh, huge shout out to you, man. Yeah, tight lines, bro. Well, I'm seeing them here. I'm so busy side fishing. Let's see if I can't catch uh, one of these. They seem to be very lethargic. Like they don't even want a drop shot bait. The one was a little bit interested, but then he kind of just dropped it and then gave up. Okay, I got it. I actually got him. It's not big, but it's... Hey, got him. Nicely hooked. This guy was going nowhere. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this hook out. Uh, shit, and I don't have my pliers with me. There we go, okay. It's a little boy, but it's okay. Uh, let me just take a picture. 
on that drop shot. That's cool, man. Oh, it's a good looking fish. Wanted that in the end. On that little Demiki uh, air pocket worm, little drop shot. Slam that. I actually watched him eat it, which was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I've spooked the other ones away. We probably have. Okay guys, I've just finished up at GNU Valley. Um, it's about half past 12 now. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know it might have not have been the greatest. There's only two fish catchers in it, uh, but at least I've caught fish, you know, um, after this whole lockdown thing, 12 weeks, no fishing, you know, uh, for some people it's been 12 weeks. For me, it's been over five months now, even six months since I've actually held uh, a fish in my hand. So that first fish this morning was awesome. Um, so yeah, like I said, I hope that you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this uh, the short little video out uh, at GNU Valley. I keep saying, saying that wrong, GNU Valley. Um, hit that uh, like button, you know, um, that it helps me a lot, uh, you know, it supports my channel. And hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already, you know, and I'll check you guys on the next episode of Bassing with Sasha.